Welcome to the Michigan Football Report Quick Hitters Edition. It's the Michigan Football Rumor Meter. Let's talk about the latest stories going on in Michigan football today. Ton of stuff to get to. First off, offensive line coach Greg Fry headed to Florida State. We reported this two weeks ago. Chat Sports is the first one. I that is four Harbaugh heads, folks. That means it is F A C K fact. Greg Fry, the offensive line coach, is headed to Florida State to be part of Willie Taggart staff. Next up. Defensive line coach Greg Madison set to retire. I'm giving this a fake news. It was reported by a bunch of people on Twitter last night. Was addressed a Michigan football insider with a little bit less connections than me. Talked to Madison last night. He said, I don't know where that came from. I, I don't know where that came from. I've got a lot of gas left in the tank. All right, next up, we've got a new assistant coach in Ann Arbor, huh? Al Washington, I'm giving this four, three Harbaugh heads, I'm sorry. He is the defensive line coach at Cincinnati, coached the prior five years at Boston College where he's an alum, four of those with Don Brown, and one of those seasons as Don Brown's defensive line coach. Washington was the running backs coach at Boston College, also where he mentored his star pupil, 2013 Doak Walker Award winner and good friend of Chat Sports, Andre Williams, who ran over 2,000 yards in the 2013 season. He is a Columbus, Ohio native, known for his recruiting prowess. His position on the Michigan staff is unknown at this time, but it is pretty likely that he will join the Michigan football staff for the 2018 season. All right, for those of you who are not familiar with the shows, let's go over what the rumor or meter means. Zero Harbaugh's means it is totally false. Fake news! One Harbaugh head says there's a small shred of truth, but we're not giving it too much uh, second thought. Two Harbaugh heads says that people are talking, people have some connections, but nothing confirmed either way. Three Harbaugh heads means it's pretty likely that it's going to happen. And if we give it a four Harbaugh heads, that is F-A-C-K fact. Jim Harbaugh spells it fact. We spell it F-A-C-K here just like he does. That means it is confirmed. You can take it to the bank. All right, we have got a bunch more from you. Our fourth rumor in the Michigan Football Report Quick Hitters Rumors Roundup. Dan Enos to the join the offensive staff. I am giving this one four Harbaugh's. I have talked to people who know about the situation in depth. Dan Enos is Arkansas's outgoing offensive coordinator for the past three seasons under Brett Bielema. He was let go just after the 2017 season. Prior to that, he was Central Michigan's coach from 2010 to 2014. His position on the Michigan staff is uncertain at this time, but people are talking about he could be the new offensive coordinator. Arkansas ranked 91st in offense in 2017, 57th in 16, and 27th in his first season in 2015. Next up, Jim Harbaugh's son, being Jay, being reassigned. I am told that Jay Harbaugh is headed back to tight ends coach where he spent the first two seasons in Ann Arbor in 2015 and 16. And he's also going to be the part-time special coach where he spent time doing that in 2015. Given his three Harbaugh heads, it is pretty likely that Jay Harbaugh will no longer be the running backs coach at Michigan going forward. All right, on to number six. Two Harbaugh heads for this one. Pep and Drevno, Michigan's co-offensive coordinators, are they out? Are they headed out? Well, people are talking, and that person mostly is Greg Henson. He is a known rumor, rumor monger, but had some pretty good connections during the 2014 Michigan coaching search that landed Michigan Jim Harbaugh. So he tweeted out just yesterday, Pep and Drevno both out soon. Wow, didn't get a ton of retweets there, but a lot of people in the Michigan community were talking about that. I can't confirm it with my sources yet, but Greg Hansen has been known to swing and miss a lot, but he has hit a few home runs on breaking stories. So people are talking about this one. No one would be too surprised if this one came to fruition, though. All right, on to our next rumor roundup. Our next rumor in the rumor roundup, Pep Hamilton to the NFL. I'm giving this one three Harbaugh heads. His agent has been putting out all kinds of feelers for the past month about head coaching positions at Mississippi State and Arizona State. And we are being told that he is interviewing currently with a number of NFL teams that potentially take a quarterback's role, maybe offensive coordinator if he gets lucky. But three Harbaugh heads, pretty likely that Michigan's passing game quarterback, a coordinator, Pep Hamilton, will not be a part of the Michigan staff next year. And I will say this, pretty likely that Jim Harbaugh also encouraged him to take this job or he may be fired. All right, on to the next one. 
Greg Roman is the new offensive coordinator at Michigan. A lot of people talking about that one. We're going to give it a two Harbaugh heads because people are talking. Really can't confirm either way whether this is true, but he was a offensive line and tight end coach for Jim Harbaugh at Stanford in 2009-2010. Joined him at the San Francisco 49ers, went to three straight NFC Championship games and one Super Bowl as the offensive coordinator of the 49ers from 2011 to 2014. Spent two seasons at the Buffalo Bills offensive coordinator and has been with Jim's brother John in the ball with the Baltimore Ravens as an offensive assistant coach with no specific uh, position duties from there. So two hardball heads for that one would be an interesting development to say the least. Greg Roman running the pistol offense uh, there in San Francisco back with Colin Kaepernick. Next up, people are saying Scott Leffler, former Michigan quarterbacks coach, could be the new offensive coordinator. We're giving that the patented Fake news! This has no relevance at all. This is people on Twitter just grasping for straws here. I don't even know where this one came from. The Scott Leffler is currently the offensive coordinator at Boston College the last two seasons. And let me tell you, they are brutal in offense. Maybe not as brutal as Michigan this year. 85th in offense in 2017, 118th in his first year out of 128 total teams in 2016. Scott Leffler is a guy who's good friends with Tom Brady, was Tim Tebow's quarterback coach at Florida for a year under Urban Meyer, and he is proving that if you have those kind of connections to the world of sports, you can get any job, apparently. But Scott Leffler will not be Michigan's offensive coordinator. Jim Harbaugh is not even considering him. All right, rumors roundup number 10. <laughs> Five coaches to be let go? This was put out there on Twitter just this uh, week, and I'm giving that one Harbaugh ad. It means that there's a shred of truth. It's out there. I don't really know what to make of it, but put out there by known message board uh, self-promoter, we'll call him that. A guy named Blue Vod who made his name on the Rivals message boards back in the day. Got a little bit of love when he, when he called the Jim Harbaugh to Michigan before anybody else, but has been ceremoniously kicked off of all these message boards for making up things that are fake, and now he has taken to Twitter and Facebook and will basically put anything out there to try and uh, try and you know, have something that he, he was one that called it. So he says five coaches are gone, three gone already, two more coming. I think he's crazy, but we will see. We're giving it a one Harbaugh head. I wouldn't trust anything this guy says at this point in time. All right, on to the next one. Is Chris Partridge, Michigan's linebackers coach, headed to Alabama? This has been rumored for about three or four weeks. His contract is up with Michigan. He's been with the school for three years. His first year as a recruiting assistant, uh, not an official coach. The last two seasons as Michigan's linebacker coach. He was the 2017-24-7 recruiter of the year of every coach in college football who kind of led Michigan's resurgence to the East Coast. Uh, coach Rashawn Gary coached uh, Jabril Peppers in high school. He would be a huge loss. We're giving this two Harbaugh heads right now because enough people in the Michigan community are talking about it that he is at least being considered for this role we won't know about this one until after the national title game as Alabama still has one game ahead of it but keep an eye out for Chris Partridge Michigan's going to need to up his salary for him to stick with the Wolverines all right saw this one uh, I'm sorry this is Michigan switching to the pistol offense I'm giving this one three Harbaugh heads because I'll tell you what I'm the source of this rumor going back a month past I'm sticking to my guns now a lot of people are talking about this out there on the internet a few blogs a few people on Twitter but this is a, a story that we broke back over a month ago that Shea Patterson's coming to Michigan. They promised him they'd switch the offense. Jim Harbaugh ran the pistol for a couple seasons in San Francisco. Now we're seeing that Greg Roman may be the offensive coordinator. I wonder why. Who's the guy who knows how to run the pistol in the NFL better than anybody? It's Greg Roman. I think there's something to that, and I'm sticking with my three Harbaugh heads. It is pretty likely that Michigan will be switching their offense, running a pistol in 2018. All right, saw this one out there on Twitter that a grad assistant called the offense uh, for the Gamecocks in the bowl game in the Outback Bowl. So we've got a tweet that I want to kind of throw up here. We've got it from a Mark Mather, who is a guy I'm not really sure enough, but it got a ton of action, 900 plus or so retweets, a few hundred, a few thousand likes that let this sink in. SC fired their offensive coordinator and a grad assistant called the plays. This turned out to be totally fake news, even though a lot of people were running with it. They did fire their co-offensive coordinator, but the other guy who was in there, uh, a guy named Brian McClendon, was still on staff and called the plays. This is totally fake news, and we're not buying it for a second because, frankly, it is not true. All right, two more to go. Chase. Winovich returning to Ann Arbor. This is obviously a four Harbaugh heads because he came out on Twitter and said it himself. There were so many people out there saying he was gone to the NFL a few weeks ago. We said last week's Michigan report that it was a two Harbaugh head because 
people are talking, but there was not enough evidence for us to give it any higher on the rumor o meter Chase Winovich will be returning for what I expect to be an All-American season in 2018. And finally, Brady hoaxed teams in three years pass for more yards than Jim Harbaugh? That's got to be fake news, right? Well, it turns out that is F-A-C-K fact. This is pretty damning to the offensive performance of Michigan, specifically in 2017. Jim Harbaugh, 207 yards passing per game in his three seasons at Michigan. Brady Hoke, 210 yards through three years. I don't know about you folks, but that does not speak well for Jim Harbaugh's kind of quarterback whisperer mentality and his quarterback whisper reputation that he has. All right, 15 rumors we just hit you with. I am James Yoder, the Michigan football insider on the coach's helmet, bringing you all the Michigan football rumors in about a five-minute span. I'm not sure how long we've gone. Check out the Michigan Football Report podcast, available only on iTunes and the podcast app. It's in video form. We're breaking down multiple shows a week, giving you all the stories around Michigan football. Check us out Friday at 4 p.m. Eastern for the weekly Michigan Football Report on Facebook Live. Just go search Michigan Wolverines by Chat Sports, and we will see you on Friday. Thanks again. 